Hi friends, welcome to DevOps Ansible course video series presented by Narendra from Do With Python Technologies. In this video, we are going to see how to install Ansible. Okay, and especially we are going with RHEL server. How to install Ansible on RHEL? See, basically there are two types to install Ansible. One is very straightforward, that is using yum, and second one is uh, using source or compiling Ansible directly from the source. Okay, we will go with one by one. First, we will go with yum. So, how to install Ansible using yum? See, uh, as of now, Ansible is not available in the default RHL repositories. So we need to install extra package right so we need to install extra packages for enterprise linux in order to install via yum so generally whenever you are doing uh, some work with yum always yum will install your required task from the repositories so in the default repositories as of now there is no ansible that's why you need to add some extra packages for your RHL server okay and anyway while doing your yum generally you need sudo permissions right or you must be a root user now here I am going with the root user or if you are having your user then for that if you are having sudo permission you can go with that user also okay okay now first step is you have to install your APEL extra packages for enterprise Linux okay here directly I am installing that package that repository in my RHL using this command yum install otherwise you can first download this RPM and using RPM command you can install it okay but anyway directly I am installing using yum okay okay we will go with step by step okay uh, let me open my RHL server so here I am using uh, my AWS cloud IHL EC2 instance okay I'm logging with that using my git bash terminal and now I am going with the root user yes, as of now I am in root let me execute very first step that is adding right adding your Ansible repository to your RHL server now I am Pasting that command, okay. Now, yes, yeah. As of now, that EPEL repository, Ansible repository, is added to my host or my RHL server. Then next step is you have to update your YAM so that in case if there is any updated uh, Ansible versions or uh, some updated packages are there, then they will be updated. So let me update my YAM. YAM update that is the command to update okay now it will take some time it's going to complete yes i need to update all those things it has been completed okay now just simply next step is install your m okay now for that first use command m install ansible we know that to install any uh, package it simply command is m install that thing ansible and i am using confirmation as y so that it will be installed without asking confirmation it's going to install it's almost done yeah it's completed now once if your ansible is installed right then whether it is there or not in order to check that simply verify your installation of ansible using just ansible space hyphen hyphen version so that you will get see ansible hyphen hyphen version if you are getting something and observe here Ansible version 
and some information about this all those things we will see this about uh, all those information later as of now just now we installed ansible using m command so simple just only three commands okay first you need to add a repository that is extra packages for your local repository then update it then install your ansible then check whether it is installed or not using ansible space hyphen hyphen version command so this is a very simple and best way to install your ansible using yum command okay there is one more way right the second way is ansible installation via source so for this in order to proceed with second method i am going to take one more ec2 instance let me go with my aws console so just now we used this ec2 instance now i am going to use different one and i'm going to connect with that and before going uh, before going to proceed with next method we will uh, check in the <coughs> ec2 instance is there any ansible or not if it is not there then we will go with fresh installation of our ansible okay then I, again i am going with the sudo user root now i am running ansible hyphen hyphen version command in case if there is any ansible it will give otherwise bash ansible command not found means that as of now there is no ansible on my host now we will go with the first installation of ansible using or via source method right see before going with uh, this uh, via source method you should have a git installed on your rhl let me check that whether it is there or not git hyphen hyphen version okay um, so of now i don't have git on my host let me install that yum install git yeah it's almost done now let me check any version just i need some git that's it yeah as of now i am having git on my host observe here this is some version 1.8.3.1 okay no problem any version of it then next first step is you just clone the git repository i mean ansible source code you can you have to clone into your local host now for that command suppose git clone okay this is the command just to copy this command to my host so just i am copying that see git clone uh, from git repository okay i am cloning that it will take some time once if it is done then we will go with the next step yeah it's done let me check that yes ansible is there okay then next step is you have to move into that ansible folder or directory then you have to update uh, sub module let me go with that let me move to that uh, ansible okay and now get iphone iphone recursive okay now it has done then next step is You have to install python and pip anyway by default there is some version in your uh, python version in your rcl right anyway let me check that if you want to install python m install python okay first uh, just go with the uh, m install python already it is there right so that's why see already installed and latest version based on rhl uh, version what is the latest version for that and it is already there with that okay you don't need to install python actually but ansible requires python that's why just we are checking then you need to install pip command okay so it is easy install pip you need to install pip command so for that easy install pip 
Press enter. Okay, now it's going to install pip. Okay, then your next step is you have to install Ansible using uh, some command. Okay, but that is less just like make install. But to install Ansible, it's required some more dependencies. Okay, anyway, what are dependencies we will see while installing your uh, Ansible with make install command. First, let me try with that make install. In case if it is required any dependencies, then it will show that. Then we will install that. See, it's asking that, right? Uh, cryptography requires setup tools 18.5 or newer. Let me check whether what, are, what is the version of uh, setup tool is there on my host. Setup tools 0 0.9.8. Okay. Now, <clears throat> let me install that. Pip install setup tools. It says that, okay, that means the setup tools required one more thing, cryptography and this thing. So now I am going to install those two things, pip install, C-R-Y-P-T-O-G-R-A-P-H-Y. Okay, they are going to install. And it says that it is also required this package. Let me install that as well, pip install. Now, just run make install, sorry, make, yeah, install so that your Ansible will be installed. Still, if it requires any dependencies, then it will show that it will throw that error, then we will go with that error and uh, we will rectify that. And it has been finished, right? So, the only thing is you need to install two dependencies. Okay, now for that a command is simply pip install that dependency and one more dependency pip install that. Okay, paramicro and cryptography. You have to install those two dependencies for your uh, to install your Ansible via source method, right? Once if it is done, right, not to check whether Ansible is installed successfully or not. Again, we know the same procedure Ansible space hyphen hyphen version. and simple space hyphen hyphen version. If you get some version, then yes, yeah, we got that version. So Ansible is installed successfully on my host. Okay. So guys, this is the way to install your Ansible in two ways. Okay. Uh, my suggestion would be the first method is very simple and the best one that is using uh, via yum. Nothing is there only three simple steps so that you can install your Ansible on your partial server. But of course, th this is also second method. You can uh, also install your Ansible using source, but it's what somewhat difficult compared to M command. It is somewhat difficult. Okay, you have to clone your repository, then you have to update sub module, then you have to check Python is there or not. Anyway, pip is not there by default on your RH server, RHL server. Then you have to install your RHLs uh, on RHL server pip command using easy install pip. Once if it is done, actually you have to install your Ansible using make install. But before going to install your Ansible, it, it requires some dependencies. So while running this command, it will show that error. It will throw that error. Then based on that, you can install that uh, dependencies. Right? So after, after installing your uh, dependencies, then you have to check using this command. Uh, Ansible space hyphen hyphen version so that you will get confirmation whether Ansible is installed successfully or not. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, thank you for watching this video. If you have any queries, you can drop as uh, you can drop a mail to this uh, do with Python or there of gmail.com or you can also comment your queries on the below of this video. Okay. Or do subscribe my channel so that you will get updates whenever we post new videos. We are going to uh,
post uh, video series on uh, devops python shell scripting data analysis data analytics and ai so do subscribe my channel okay guys bye